26th April 1917 marks a major watershed in the history of the princely state of Hyderabad. Far-sighted Mir Osman Ali Khan of the Asaf Jahi dynasty and the 7th Nizam of Hyderabad signed the Farman, the Royal Charter, to establish Osmania University to serve the cause of education in the region. This is the seventh oldest university in India, one of the first ten in the subcontinent, first in the subcontinent to have Urdu, the local language, as the medium of instruction. Rabindranath Tagore commended the university for choosing Urdu to impart education. History records that during the first 30 years, the university launched the undergraduate, postgraduate and PhD programs. The courses were run in institutions and buildings located near Gun Foundry. In 1928, Mir Osman Ali Khan acquired about 2,500 acres of land from the learned courtesan Malaka Bai Chanda's Adikmet Jagir and transferred it to the university. The university got its present sprawling campus in the year 1934 and the iconic arts college building in pink granite was inaugurated in 1939. The lush green campus with a variety of flora, robust infrastructure, vast playing grounds, modern gymnasium and a swimming pool provides the perfect ambience for holistic development of students. Ever since its inception, Osmania University has been an enduring symbol of a questioning spirit as well as a citadel of higher education. With die-hard commitment, the university has been redefining pedagogies and molding students into critical thinking individuals and making them globally competitive products. Dynamic, modern and highly learner-centered, the university acknowledges all students as valued leaders of tomorrow whose education and success are most paramount to the institution. At Osmania University, academic rigor involves empowering stakeholders with cutting-edge knowledge, thereby strengthening the socio-economic and political fabric of the nation. Osmania University has many firsts to its credit. Bachelor's course in journalism in 1962, master's course in library and information science in 1978, biomedical engineering course at undergraduate level in 1982. Today, the university has grown into an institution par excellence with 12 faculties spanning the fields of arts, sciences, social sciences, law, education, engineering, technology, commerce, management, informatics, pharmacy and oriental languages. 53 departments 553 teaching and 1,640 non-teaching staff, the greatest assets of the university. 721 affiliated colleges, 8 campus colleges, 5 constituent colleges, 5 district PG colleges, 17 autonomous colleges, 3.2 lakh students. To facilitate candidates to pursue education in a non-formal setting in the Telangana state and overseas, the Professor G. Ram Reddy Center for Distance Education with 26 undergraduate, postgraduate and diploma courses caters to an average of 10,000 students each academic year. The imposing Osmania University Library atop the small hillock is a treasure trove of knowledge housing more than 6 lakh books, including 6,825 rare manuscripts. It is a haven for bibliophiles. Combining academics with activism, students were in the forefront of the major struggles for a separate statehood of Telangana. The university is devoted to quality in teaching, research and innovation, and to develop leaders who will make a difference to the world. It fosters a culture of continual multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary inquiry and education among all stakeholders. Thus, it leads to the evolution of an education model that focuses on experiential learning and prepares students face the challenges of a rapidly changing world. It has been at the forefront of undertaking path-breaking and seminal research through 15 research centers and institutes. 
The Professor G. Madhava Reddy Center for Plant Molecular Biology is one among the seven centers of excellence in the country with the mandate to pursue the plant genomics research. The research and training unit for navigational electronics occupies pride of place as it is the first university center to work in the area of global positioning system and GPS-aided geo-augmented navigation system. It meets the specific needs of the Department of Civil Aviation and the Indian Air Force. The university is home to Southeast Asia's largest 48-inch reflecting telescope and boasts of a central facility for research and development equipped with state-of-the-art instrumental facilities and laboratories. Till date, the university has filed 40 patents and has over a lakh publications by its faculty and research scholars in reputed national and international journals. The science faculty alone, on an average, produce about 400 high-impact research papers annually. The university has recognized and forged linkages with 50 leading research institutions, establishments to leverage their expertise and infrastructure and thereby strengthen research and training. A few of them include the National Institute of Nutrition, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, National Geophysical Research Institute, and the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, Dehradun. Also, it has signed memoranda of understanding with 46 national and 12 international educational and research institutions, including the College of Air Warfare, Indian Space Research Organization, and the BAD. The Osmania University Center for International Programs advances Osmania's global presence through its research concentrations and programs. One of the largest residential universities in the country, the university has 33 hostels for boys, women, research scholars and foreign students. The shell-shaped Tagore Auditorium that hosts major events is a visual delight. With its impressive record in education and research, the Varsity has received its share of recognition and has been accredited with an A grade by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. The University is a recipient of several research and special assistance programs of the UGC, CSIR, DST, DBT and other agencies of Government of India. The University College of Arts and Social Sciences, the University College for Women, have stood the test of time and made a mark in history with their breathtaking architectural genius. The university is the just recipient of the INTAC Heritage Award. The university was the first to confer an honorary doctorate on Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the architect of the Indian constitution, among several leading national and international personalities. Factoring the student-centric initiatives, inclusivity and gender equity, the university has been ranked 23 according to the National Institutional Ranking Framework, India Ranking Report 2017 of the Union Human Resource Development, HRD Ministry, and rated consistently among the top 10 universities in the country. To address the educational demands in the districts of Telangana, the university facilitated the establishment of Kakatiya, Mahatma Gandhi, Telangana and Palamuru universities. Steeped in a rich erudite tradition of the very best of scholastic brilliance and responsible education, it has shaped some of the brilliant minds down the years. The university is the alma mater to a galaxy of stalwarts. They include former Prime Minister of India P.V. Narasim Harao, cosmonaut Rakesh Sharma, cricket commentator Harsha Bhogle, Ravi Bellam Konda, President of American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering, Shantanu Narayan, the current CEO of Adobe Systems, the late theoretical physicist and renowned mathematician Raziuddin Siddiqui, and several others. The university has expanded its footprint across the shores and has emerged as the most favored educational destination for students from West Asia and Africa. Today, it is a melting pot of cultures with almost 4,000 students of 87 nationalities preferring to pursue their higher education here. Osmania University can look back with pride and satisfaction at its achievements in disseminating knowledge. The university looks forward to carrying on the legacy of excellence 
and work towards a promising future. Osmania University, a crucible of intellect.